This Father's Day weekend, dads in Cincinnati joined together to send a powerful message. Hundreds spent the day at the Fathers and Families Peace March. Angela Ingram explains why fathers are hoping the event encourages more dads to be involved in their kids' lives and in their neighborhoods. A marching band full of children is followed by supportive families celebrating dads in Cincinnati. This is the first Fathers and Families Peace March in Eden Park. Tomorrow is Father's Day, and Father's Day should be just as big an event as Mother's Day. Uh, we have parades for mothers, we have mothers marches, we have Mother's Day. Even on churches, you have a mother's board, you don't have a father's board. The Cincinnati Human Relations Commission brought families together with the March and Resource Fair. And at Mirror Lake, there's a time for reflection, a time to talk about an issue that can be difficult. When you see the homicides and the crimes, it's younger black men killing young black men. But again, we need the fathers to step up. The event is designed for dads to speak out against gun violence, but the gathering is also a kickoff to Juneteenth tomorrow, which celebrates the end of slavery in the U.S. Well, it's definitely important for us to be here because this is our youth, and we want them to know what's the importance of Juneteenth. I've been talking to them all week about how the Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves and how this is part of their history. Push for peace. These fathers at Mirror Lake are hoping the actions of the community will reflect the positive event today. We're not on the corner selling drugs. We're not out there robbing folks. We're not gangbangers. We're not drunkards. We are men of honor, men who basically believe that our children can be even more than we can ever dream of them being ourselves. At Eden Park, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. The group's next event is the Push for Peace Father-Son Basketball Tournament happening in Price Hill.